I just kicked the camera. All right. Kick the camera and knock down my workout. Okay, give me 30 seconds. It's not gonna stick. All right, let's get started with our warrior boot camp. Let's start with that little bit of a warm up. So for today's workout, if you happen to have a step with risers, I'm gonna demo some things that we can use that step for just to change up the cardio and give us a little bit of variety, but you most certainly do not need to use one. And we're gonna be using some dumbbells for some shoulder press, some running shoulder press. And again, we can always modify, always, always. So if you don't have weights, it's a great time to throw in some core exercises. Okay, let's go side to side. This, this workout does not have any core exercise. Oh, I'm gonna lie, there are some planks in here but you can always do some extra core, some back extensions, okay, a little bit extra cardio, extra push-ups. Okay, let's circle those hips. So, so we are gonna start with three sets um, of some cardio and some legs to get started with. Okay, let's go the other way. I will be modifying because of my little feet, even though they're doing well, but I'm not going to push it. You know, I'd love to go for a walk. I'd love to jump, but I'm not going to already walking too much on them. So we are going to start. We got jumping jacks, lunge pulses, squats. And we are going to go through that three times. So when we get to the jumping jacks, um, I'm going to show you some alternatives. And you can throw in any, any cardio here to ramp up your heart rate. I will not be jumping with those jumping jacks, but let's get started with them. So nice, quick. Fast jumping jacks. And then we're going to do lunge pulses. We're going to go out to that lunge. We're just going to pulse up and down on the one side. You should feel those legs start to burn out really, really fast. So in these jumping jacks, let's keep that back nice and long here and really open up that chest. I want that little bit of extra effort here. You got three seconds. And we're gonna lunge pulse, and I'm gonna lunge pulse as best as I can on my feet. I'm gonna use the wall for a little bit of support, and this is what I want it to look like. Just up and down, up and down, shoulders right over top of those hips. That's gonna make sure your core is engaged. You're strengthening your back, strengthening the core, and we're stacking the weight, and we're keeping our joints safe, which is so important, okay? We wanna keep everything safe and strong. Always, always always okay so up and down legs should be burning if you have a weight this is when you grab a weight and you can start ramping it up you have eight seconds so try and push out those last few all right let's switch now let's go out on the other side so nice big stance up and down shoulders are tall you can do this without a weight and i guarantee you those legs are going to get a good workout. So if you don't have a weight, you can slow it down. And that's going to burn out the leg even more because you're going to keep that, that muscle under tension. Okay, so you're utilizing your body weight very effectively. You got five seconds. We're going to go to jumping jacks. I'm going to try crossovers here. All right, let's go into crossovers. Ooh, this is high. Okay, so this is what your crossover looks like. Let me take it down. You can do jumping jacks, you can do burpees, you can do whatever you want. So make it fast. So nice and quick for 10 more seconds. All right, let's go back into that lunge pulse. So let's pulse it again. And again, I want you to stack your shoulders, that knee, make sure that knee is over that ankle, please. Make sure that front toe is nice and straight. Up and down, nice and smooth. You have 10 seconds, and then we're gonna switch legs. I want you to push through for these last five seconds. All right, let's switch legs. Let's go out nice and long. Okay, so I don't want short stance lunges. Okay, that's bad form. We're working on the form and getting low. I want proper stance. I just want smaller lunges. 
And then we work our way down. We have 12 seconds. If you need to use a ball, I'm using a wall because my feet need it for the balance right now. Use a wall, okay? Use a wall, have proper form. You have five seconds. We're gonna add in squats this time. All right, let's go into some squats. Now we're using both legs. If you have a weight, I want you to have that weight. Squat it back, lift it up, squeeze the glutes. Feet are strong, down and up. Again, if you have a weight, let's use the weight. Let's tire out those legs. You have 12 seconds and we're gonna go back to jumping jacks. You got five seconds to go. So push low. All right, let's go back to jumping jacks where you can go into these crossovers. So if you see, I'm staying centered on the step and it's touch up and over is what I'm doing to get some height to work the legs. It's gonna work. So if you're having issues with the lateral motion, you wanna be cautious. You can always progress. There's nothing wrong with this, okay? We gotta get there somehow and we can do it that way. You're gonna get a great leg workout. You have five seconds. And let's go lunge pulse again. One more time. So out that big stance. And let's go, let's build strength in those legs. Remember, you want a big, strong metabolism. We're gonna do it through those legs. Those poor legs work all day. They're big, they're strong. They're the big muscles in the body. So let's keep them strong for us. They are the powerhouse. If I do too many lunges, my feet will be sore later. I learned that the other night from the camp. All right, let's go, let's switch sides. Doesn't feel too bad doing it, but afterwards, I learned I probably did a little bit too much, but it's also important to find that fine line and doing stuff when we have an injury, I gotta keep everything strong and keeping it moving because that keeps, it's gonna help it heal as well. We have 10 seconds. We're gonna do a second set of squats. So if you don't have that weight, I want you to grab the weight. All right, now let's squat nice and low. Back is strong, knees are strong. Up and down as best as you can for me. Don't worry about how many you get in. I want good quality ones. Push that butt back like you're tapping a chair. You have 10 seconds. And then we're gonna do that core work that we're gonna do. We're gonna go down four uh, planks after this, okay? All right, let's go down for a plank on the elbows. Now, if you can, I want you up on your toes. We're gonna hold that plank, nice flat back. My camera's on an angle, so just kind of bear with me here. My elbows are right underneath my shoulders. I'm driving them into the floor. You're gonna hold and you're gonna breathe. If you need to, you're gonna to drop to your knees, you need your plank from your knees, or you're gonna take a bit of a break, then you're gonna pop it back up, suck that core and squeeze that butt. I want everything super strong. You have 20 seconds, 20 seconds to push through. Then we're gonna do pop squats or squats. So this next set is just two exercises. So pop squats, are gonna work the legs, gonna build up that cardio where we're gonna do as squats for the legs, your choice. You have five seconds, five seconds. All right, come on up. So pop squats, you can even grab a weight for. You have just 30 seconds. I'm gonna gently do these. Things I promised myself, no jumping on the recovering feet. Okay, in and out. Notice my back stays long, just like in my squats. All the power from those legs. Use the legs, they're powerful. Use them, use them, use them, please. You have 10 seconds, so let's pick it up. It's either pop squats or squats. Down and up, push, push, push. All right, let's go back down for a plank on the elbows. So if for some reason you start to feel this in your lower back and you're starting to feel like it's kind of pushing it a little bit too much, I want you to go into that child's pose, of course, stretch out the back, give it a little bit of love, pop it back up. Drive through the elbows, watch that chin. Make sure you're breathing. And make sure you're breathing. 
Okay, you have a full minute here. So great core, great chance to work your core. You have 25 seconds. And then from here, from here, we're gonna go back to those pop squats or squats. So hold it out, drive with those elbows for me. Drive, drive, drive. I gotta fix these camera angles because it's really weird to look and then look. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm supposed to be looking up there at you. Okay, you have five seconds. Hold it, hold it, hold it. All right, come back up for either squats or pop squats. I'm gonna show you another alternative you can do for squats here. So let's go, you got 30 seconds. You can pop squat it out, in and out with the feet. You can even do this if you have a step or a chair. Great, great way to get a nice deep squat and know you're getting a good one. I'm sitting all the way down, driving myself up, all the way up. Lead with that chest. Every single time you lead with that chest. You have eight seconds. We got third and final set of plank. Third and final set. All right, let's go down through that plank. We're gonna breathe and hold and squeeze. After this, we are gonna, I'm gonna explain it to you. We're gonna go running dumbbell press. So if you have weights, we're gonna use our dumbbells. We're gonna run out that dumbbell, dumbbell press. We're gonna stay nice and strong. We're gonna do push-ups. Okay, you can always do back extensions. Remember I said you can throw in that core here. This is where you can throw in some more core exercises. You can throw a plank back in, you can throw in crunches, you can throw in leg lowers. Whatever you choose to do, you can do it here. You got 20 seconds in that plank. Okay, let's hold it out. Almost there. Tight, tight, tight. Drive those elbows. All right, nice work. All right, so now we are gonna, we gotta do that third set of pop squats or squats. So let's do that pop squats or squats. And then we have running dumbbell press because we started with the plank in the set. So let's do those squats, grab those weights at the side, at the chest, sink, lift and squeeze, sink, lift and squeeze. Remember, I always lift my toes just a little bit on my squats, just a tiny bit, just that little bit. That's gonna help me get a nice proper squat. Okay, you got five seconds. We're gonna grab the dumbbells. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. All right, let's grab the dumbbells. You're gonna stagger your feet. I want your feet like this. We're gonna run those dumbbells up. Okay, run them up. That's what you're doing. I want those feet staggered. I want those feet staggered so your core is strong. We're isolating the shoulders. Okay, we're not going side to side with our spine. Everything's nice and long. Drive, 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 think running. Press, press, press. Okay, remember what foot's in front because next time I just want you to switch as often as we can. You want to always balance on the body. Even if it's something as little and seems as simple as that, I want you to balance that out. All right, let's go down for push ups. So this is a double set. So now we're going to do our push ups. Strong push ups. We go back to running dumbbell press. So breathe it out, squeeze the glutes all the way down. I'm on my knees. I don't wanna press those toes too much that way. So you can go up on your toes, slow it down, hit that chest first, please. Roll it up if you have to. I'd rather that, you got five seconds, five seconds. All right, come on up, let's switch feet. Let's put the other foot in front. I want to run up those elbows, run up those arms, running dumbbell press. Core is nice and tight. Let's run, 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 press, press, press. If you have options for dumbbell size, if you need to switch them up, switch them up. You can always do a regular dumbbell press here too, okay? Slow it down, shake them out if you need to. Push for eight more seconds. All right, let's go back down for those push-ups. After this, we have squat jumps. So squat jumps, very similar to our pop squats, but the difference is going to be our feet are not coming in and out like a pop squat. Squat jump is exactly what it sounds like. It's a squat and you're jumping in that squat and you land in that same squat. 
and you just jump again. You got five seconds. You can modify, of course, with a squat. All right, come on up. All right, let's go. Squat jump, you can hold a weight if you have kettlebells. These are great to use kettlebells with. I want you power with those legs. Jump up super tall. Try not to lean forward too much. I want you to jump up straight. Open that chest. Land up and jump. You have eight seconds here. We have eight seconds. So go into squats, go into jumping jacks if you need to give those legs. <laughs> legs a little bit of a break. Okay, now let's go frog squats. This is your frog squat. Little teeny tiny squats now. Little, little, little squats. Sink the butt back, burn out the legs. Okay, burn it out. Let's build strength in those legs. You have five seconds. Okay, we're gonna go back to the running dumbbell press. All right, grab those weights again and let's go. Stagger those feet, please. Stagger, strong, up tall, press. Build strength in those shoulders. Okay, give it all you got here. After this, we have push-ups. You have 10 seconds to go. So drive it up. Watch that spine. Keep it strong. Keep it strong. I don't want a lot of this. Okay, I want you to avoid that. Okay, let's go down for push-ups. Again, push-ups. 30 seconds. Make them count. So my chest is just slightly forward, and you are going to feel how much that loads your weight into your chest. Ten seconds, and then the other leg is going to go up front for those running dumbbell press. You have three seconds. All right, come on up. Let's go running dumbbell press on the other side. Nice and strong. Give it all you got. Okay, just like this. Okay, if you need to drop the weights, do it like I'm doing it. Doing it without weights, that's okay. Okay, up close. Try to look into the camera. I have bad shadows under my eyes, but that's okay. Okay, <laughs> that's all right. Yeah. All right, back down for push-ups. Let's go back into those push-ups for me. Another 30 seconds. And I know I stepped on my shoelace on the way down. So give it what you can in those push-ups. And then we got squat jumps. And then we have frog squats coming up. You have eight seconds. All right, good job. Let's go back to those squat jumps. All right, let's go squat jumps down and up. I should be doing them. If, like I said, if you want to wait, you put it here. Kettlebells are fabulous here. I know I've mentioned it before. You can go to the dollar store and buy like a four pound kettlebell. I know you think, what do I need a four pound kettlebell for? But even here, an extra four pounds of jumping is an extra four pounds of jumping, okay? It's still going to build strength. It's still going to be more than your body weight, okay? All right, let's go frog squats, and this should really burn out the legs now, really tire them out, okay? Especially, depending on the journey you're on, especially if you have lost some weight, you're losing some pounds, that's resistance that you're losing. So think about that. If you lost five, 10 pounds, you're losing that resistance while you're using, doing your exercises. You don't have that extra weight to build strength from, okay? So you need to get dumbbells. We need to have some, we need to slow things down a little bit. All right, let's go back to running dumbbell press one more time, one more time through. So grab your weight and again, let's run it out, run it out. Dumbbells, great investment. Let's press, lengthen, fast, 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 punch it out. Okay, my elbows are standing. You can go into a regular dumbbell press, that's okay. 
Remember, you can be doing core stuff, you can do anything. The important thing is that we're here and we're doing something. We are doing something because those some things add up to something even bigger. All right, down for push ups. Try and do push ups if you can, a few every day. So breathe and push, make these count, make them count. You have 12 seconds. We have one final set of running dumbbell press. What this means is you're getting six sets, six sets of shoulders, six sets of push-ups. And because we're doing the shoulders and the push-ups back to back, we're supersetting them. Okay, come on up. Shoulder press, running shoulder press. Um, you're getting a really fabulous upper body workout in a very short period of time. And that's what this is all about. So we're stacking the exercises together to get the most out of it. Okay, so run up with that dumbbell press, please. Give it all you got for the last 10 seconds. Last 10 seconds. And then we're back on the floor for 30. All right, let's go back on the floor for 30 seconds. Push-ups. We're gonna do legs after this. And then after legs, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna throw in some core. We're gonna throw in some leg lowers to finish. Some really good leg lowers. We're just gonna pound them out and just go at that core really strong. You have three, eight seconds here. Eight seconds, and then we're coming up for a squat jump. All right, come on up and let's go into squat jumps. All right, remember, feet are wide. We're gonna jump, jump. I'm gonna do squats, squats. Everything is strong, everything is tight. Let's really squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Push it down, up and down. You have 15 seconds. You have eight seconds and we're gonna go into frog squats. All right, let's go into frog squats now. Again, last chance for the legs. So let's push, push. Stay low and try and get a little bit lower for me, just a little bit more. Make them burn really good. You have 10 seconds to go. 10, push, drop it down. We're going to go right into those leg lowers in just four seconds. Just four seconds to hold out for. All right, let's go down for leg lowers. So super slow. This is where we're going to finish. Two minutes. Just give me two more minutes. Lift and lower. Slow lengthen the legs as long as you can. If they're bent in, that's okay. We're going to progress to longer legs. So try a few with longer legs. Pull them in if you need to. That's okay. These are amazing, amazing, amazing ab exercises. My hands are under my lower back. This is protecting my lower back. You can anchor yourself with something heavy above your head if you want to grab a coffee table or a heavy chair, someone's ankles, anything that helps ground your body to the floor. Hands underneath the lower back will do it for you. Okay, keep moving, keep going. And you know what? We have 25 seconds to go and I've decided we're gonna do another minute. So if that lower back's starting to fatigue out, I want you to take the time to pull your knees into your chest. But you know what? Let's go for another minute.
So yes, pull the knees into your chest if you need to. All it takes is a few seconds to stretch out that back and then you can get back to the good stuff. Almost there, we got like 25 seconds. Lower, lift, you're almost there. Pull it up, make it work. Keep going. I promise you are almost done, you got five seconds. All right, good job, let's pull those knees into the chest. Now let's give that lower back a really good stretch now. Then we're gonna come up on our knees and we're gonna stretch our hip flexors out in a runner stretch. So we did all those great lunge pulses. And remember little things like those frog squats, those lunge pulses, push-ups, these leg lowers. Start throwing them in. Just a few minutes here and there. You got, you know, two, three minutes, throw in some leg lowers. Okay, do, do a few squat pulses in the kitchen. Okay. I'm a believer, all those little things add up. Those are the things that are gonna really make a difference in progress and building strength. All right, let's lean forward. I am stretching that back leg now. That's what I'm getting. And I find when I add those little things in during the day, here, there, it keeps my nutrition just a little bit more on my A-game. Okay, let's switch legs. We all know the secret here is nutrition. Nutrition is going to build the strength that we're asking for from our workouts, okay? What do you say, the workouts? Workouts are the instructions to the body. If we don't have the nutrition, we don't have the building blocks, we can't do anything with the instructions, okay? Okay, we need the fuel, we need the nutrition to build whatever we need to be. Okay, let's come up and let's open up the chest. Okay, so we just did the Lego instructions. Now you need to give yourself the pieces. We gotta feed ourselves those pieces. Okay, let's turn the thumbs, pull it back a bit more. And from all of those push ups, we'll roll through that. So now we're stretching out those shoulder blades. And now let's cross the shoulder in front. So now I'm stretching out the shoulder. Now let's stretch out the other one. Make sure you drop those shoulders down. And let's stretch out the quads. I'm gonna grab the wall, bring the foot up, flex the foot, lengthen my spine. And keep my knees close together so I'm stretching the front of my leg. And now let's bring that leg in front and let's stretch the hamstrings out. So again here, lengthen the spine. Notice my chest is lifted up. That's actually going to sink my hips back and get a nice proper safe stretch. Okay, so come on up. Let's switch sides. Bring that leg in front and let's stretch the hamstring. And after this, we finish with that fabulous forward fold with the hamstrings in the lower back. Always want to make sure we get that extra, that lower back just an extra little bit of love no matter what. So let's take a deep breath in. And then we are going to come down, bend the knees as much as we need to. And we are going to fall into this. And we're just going to take a few breaths to finish with.
All right, nice big breath up and we are all finished. Thank you for joining me.